Okay, I'm currently working on setting the idle circuit in my uh, new ABS. Um, as it turns out, so far these have been adjusted at only three eighths of a turn off of bottoming out, and I'm trying to work out how that is a um, piece at a time. A lot of it's probably that it's cold out, and I just got to let it fully warm up before I can set the idle circuit. But here's a few things I've learned. Okay, um, I've discovered that the fuel is uh, to the idle circuit is drawn through the uh, main jets. So I'm going to read a little bit of the uh, manual here uh, to go along with the uh, diagram. Okay, so fuel is drawn through the idle system by the intake manifold vacuum that is communicated at the idle screw board and transfer slot. Fuel in the bowl passes through the primary main jet and metering rod restriction and into the primary well. The fuel for the idle system is drawn through the restriction at the end of the idle jet, a brass tube, and flows up the tube to the location of the first idle bleed. A brass restrictor where it's mixed with the liquid fuel, the emulsified air and fuel is drawn through the idle channel restrictor the drill passes, it serves to increase the velocity of the air and fuel to promote better mixing. As the emulsified fuel is charged, discharged from the idle channel restrictor, additional air is added at the second idle air bleed, a drilled hole, and the highly aerated mixture then moves through the passage in the main body to the location of the transfer slot and the idle screw port. Okay, so that's the important part about it is that uh, we know that it draws the fuel from the main jet and that the uh, metering rod affects it as well. So what you can infer from that is that the richness of the main jet affects the adjustment of the uh, idle screw. And also it affects the richness of the fuel coming from the, the uh, channel transfer slot. Okay, one thing I've learned is I've uh, looked into the uh, owner's manual that came with this. It's the 1912 model. It came with a 104 primary jet, a 65 times 52 metering rod. And what that means is that uh, this is the metering rod here. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I'll try. The larger of the diameters here is 65 thousandths and the smaller one is um, 52 thousandths. So the one that affects the idle is the 65 thousandths. Upon some study I found that the idle circuit does in fact run off of the primary jets. So the primary jet is down in here and it feeds the idle circuit. and uh, the idle adjuster screw is here and inside you have both a transfer slot and you have that initial small hole that feeds it. This carburetor I'm showing you is old and poor condition but you can see the transfer slot and then you can see the idle hole closer to the bottom of the carburetor. So what I found is that uh, Since it runs off of the primary jet, it can be affected by the jetting. So what I'm thinking, so I noticed that with uh, the 1406, the primary jet is 98 and the uh, metering rod large diameter is 75. That's a difference of 23 thousandths. Down here, the primary jet is 104 and the larger diameter is 65. So that's a difference of 39 thousandths. So there's a big difference between uh, the size of this rod and the size of the jet. And that could allow more fuel to go into the idle circuit, causing me to have to have the idle screw cinched down more. Now that might not be a problem, but it is something to think about. Okay, here I have a, uh, a jetting kit that you can get from uh, Edelbrock. Um, this one is good for 1410, 1412, and 1413. Um, 
there um, some things will interchange like the you can see that the metering rods will interchange this is an older jet kit but as you can see the metering rods are the the same you can put them in and so what we have here is since I have a 65 and a 52 here is one that's uh, 73 and a 52 so if I found that one number 1457 I could put those in there and have the same jetting at wide open throttle but it would be leaner at part throttle and idle Okay, what I was able to find is I found a pair of 7347s and a pair of 7547s. I don't have any with the small diameter 52, but I can lean out the uh, lower RPM circuit, and that may work okay. So I do have choices there, and um, for now I'm going to put the original rod back in because the car hasn't been road tested yet. But uh, this is a way to... Uh, lean out the lower RPM circuit if needed.